What's up, I'm Trey Cyrus. I got my first tattoo the day after my 18th birthday. My mom took me, got this tattoo right across my chest and um, you can see it turned into qu quite a problem because look at me now. I'm about to take you guys on a tour of my ink. I have my throat done, the coffin, it's deliver us from evil, you know, which is in the Lord's Prayer. Jesus piece here, my Virgin Mary, my Catholic praying hands. All this stuff, plus my back piece is like, probably my favorite stuff, plus my new headpiece. The Songs of Victory, it's Bible scripture, and um, I just wanted something representing me. So like a double meaning, worshiping the Lord with songs of worship, and also it's like Songs of Victory. It's like make myself as songs that are like victorious and great. Cowboy boots, a grenade over here, Nashville, Hollywood. I got the Tennessee and the California. I got my mom tattoo. You gotta get a mom tattoo so they don't get too mad when you get tatted up. See behind this here, another one. Tattoo behind my ear that says Mammy. That my grandma, she helped raise me. I just got this because I love girls with dark hair and brown eyes. It's not like a specific girl, it has a specific meaning. I just was like, you know, draw a chick on there. And then I just told him basically kind of make like a zombie version on the other side. So you can see her face is kind of like decaying and Got a rose coming out of one eye, and my arms are more my, my. I feel like they're my childish tattoos. Like I got them, I got them when I was a kid. I got the hand tattoo over here that says Metro for Metro Station. So still got that on me. I just did the head tattoo. It's Chief Joseph, a Native American Indian. The head, the head's brutal. And my tattoo artist, when he was tattooing this side, he's like, Trace, I hate to say it, but one day I know your whole head's gonna be tattooed. And I was like, you're probably right. And I asked him, I was like, you know, what if we did a feather under my eye and a cross? And he like drew it out real fast. And I was like, I love it. And I have quite a few now. Like I got the SMHP over here. I got the Tennessee, where I'm from. But then I got the two feathers because we always like would go out and we'd try to find these like red tail hawk feathers. So I have also this red, red feather right here. It says dad in the bead right here. So anytime I'd find like a red hawk feather, I'd bring it back to him to the house and give it to him. And if he found one, he'd give it to me. Those two feathers are just kind of to represent me and my dad's relationship. I wasn't really that nervous. I was so excited. Like my face tattoos are some of my favorite tattoos, you know, and they better be there on my face. My big Geronimo portrait with the headdress picture. And I, this is like my favorite picture of him ever. My dad made a joke when he was getting his Geronimo piece. He was like, what if I did this on my whole entire back? And like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that one day. And he like laughed about it and I really got it. It says Southern Made Hollywood Paid, which is my clothing line. I got the dream catcher behind my head with the longhorn skull. I can't like get like one tattoo on my leg and then like be cool with it. Like if I do one, I have to do the whole leg like that week. Like I can't like just have a little bit Everyone who sees my work thinks it's some of the best work. And um, every time I get tattooed, I pretty much get tattooed for 10 hours or more. It's not fun, but the thing is like, I almost look forward to it because I like my tattoo artist so much that when we hang out, it's like therapeutic because you tell your tattoo artist everything. Like people think they tell our hairdresser something a lot. Imagine having someone tattoo you for like 10 hours. Like he knows more about me than my parents do. I have so much fun communicating with him and talking to him that it almost goes by fast, so I enjoy it. Hey you guys, thanks for checking out my tattoos. Remember, tattoos are not for everybody. If you're gonna get tattooed, make sure you go to a good, safe, and clean shop with a good artist, and much love to you guys. Thank you guys very much.